because I'm going to be doing a little unboxing of something that I just received in the mail. So, here it is. This is my little box right here. If you can guess what it is. Um, three, two, one, I'll let you guess. It is the iPhone 13 and that is what it looks like. It is so beautiful. Oh my gosh. I got the pink iPhone 13. I got it in the highest storage that it comes in because with all the photos and all the content that I take on my phone, I just need as much storage as possible. And so here she is. So right now I have the iPhone 11. This is her. She is in a really cute case. This case is from an Etsy shop called Case Fair US. I don't really recommend it just because the cases are not sturdy enough to really protect the phone itself. I have actually broken that phone twice now because of the um, flimsiness of the case. But anyhow, it is a cute case if you wanted to get it. That's where I got it from. So anyways, I am now upgrading from the iPhone 11 to the iPhone 13. So there's this little thing here that I think I am just gonna rip off. She's so pretty. She is so pretty. She is so pretty. She's so cute. Oh my god. Like, this is gorgeous. So she comes with a little tar charger cord in there, and then all the other stuff that Apple phones usually come with and all right ready for the satisfying oh that's so satisfying oh my god i can't get over the back i'm so happy i picked the pink color i was debating on the pink or the blue and i got the pink and i'm so happy so i'm just turning it on Woo. And then I'm gonna transfer all of my content from my iPhone 11 to my iPhone 13. And then I'm gonna do a little what's on my iPhone for you guys, just so you can see. Oh, look at that. Bring your current iPhone or iPad near this phone to sign in or sign in and set up. Okay. Ah, yeah, see? It'll literally be like, Set up new iPhone. So basically, I'm just gonna connect it, and then I have to kind of hold my phone up to the camera. Exciting. Enter my passcode. For a second, I was like, "What is my passcode?" Because I'm so used to using Face ID. You know the vibes. And now it may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. I'm very excited i can't get over how beautiful this is. this is very like girly and just i feel like it's so um classy and just pretty i am literally obsessed with this i'm so happy i got the pink face id yes up like that <clears throat> face ID is now set up transfer data transfer time 20 to 25 minutes so I have to come back 
I'm going to transfer my data. It's going to take 20 to 25 minutes and I'll be back in a sec for you guys. It's a sec. <laughs> Okay, so it's actually the next day and it took me legitimately, okay, first of all, the phone needed a software update, so that took like two hours, literally two hours to do that software update. And then I had to transfer all of my shit from one phone to the other phone, which literally you just put the two phones next to each other and it transfers automatically. And yet that still took like 45 minutes to an hour as well. And it got to a point where I was just like, I had to do other things before today. So as you know what, I'm just gonna finish the video the next day. The only update that I really did was I put my case on it and I put the pop socket on the case. I got the case from Amazon and the pop socket from Amazon and the case is a Spigen case. Um, and so this beautiful baby right here is going to go into this case. So let's put her in here and there we go. And now she is all safe and secure and we love that. It's just a clear case with the pink accents to go with the pink phone. So yeah, basically, I am just going to kind of show you guys what is on my iPhone. I also wanted to show you guys the camera quality. So let me show you the difference between the camera on the iPhone 11 and the camera on the iPhone 13. So let me just take a quick little selfie here. There's that. Wow, the can't, wow. That is crazy, oh my god. It's so nice on the phone, iPhone 13 compared to iPhone 11. I never realized how bad the iPhone 11 quality is. And then let me take a, um, like one on the back camera here. I'll just take it of my Starbucks cup. That's insane. The camera is the best part about this phone. I am so happy. I've literally been taking TikToks all morning long because I realized how nice the camera was. I opened the TikTok app and I looked at myself and I was like, oh, the camera is nice on this thing. And I've just been filming TikToks since. So anyways, let's get on into the what's on my iPhone. So let me start screen recording. Doo -doo -doo. Perfect. So this is just my screensaver. My screensaver is just my vision board for 2022. And here we are on the home page. So I have the Widget Smith uh, stuff basically all over. And all of these photos are also photos from my vision board. So just the date at the top. And then I see Lily James on set and a plane because traveling and acting. So first we have the utilities folder. This is basically the apps that the iPhone pretty much comes with, but I do use. So calendar clock alarm me that's just another kind of clock app which basically when you set an alarm you can kind of set it to whatever time you want and then you can do a mission so usually I just do a math mission and you can set it for like however difficult you want the math question to be and then you have to basically answer for example one two three math problems in the morning in order to turn your phone off and you have to do it within I think like 30 seconds or else the alarm will continue ringing so it's just a good way to get yourself to wake up in the morning so I do use that every single day and then the weather app the weather network app, reminders, settings, notes, voice memos, app store, widget smith, files, watch, and then I have this voice recorder app, but I don't really use it. I just haven't deleted it because I don't know if I have anything on there. Then I have Gmail, photos, camera, and then down here I have messages, phone, and then I have my social folder. So social folder is just Twitter, Instagram, which you guys can follow me on Instagram. I will have it linked on the screen, linked in the description box, but yes, I'm obsessed with Instagram as most of us are. Don't really use Twitter, don't really use Facebook. Um, Messenger for Facebook, I literally only ever message my best friend May on there because she's an Android and so when we text it's the green bubble and I just like seeing like when it's delivered and you know that kind of a thing so yeah I have we heart it and tumblr I have this followers app for Instagram I have TikTok obviously I have Outlook which I use for work because they email us using that um, email address and then I have Pinterest 
And then I have my entertainment folder, which is just music, YouTube, Netflix, Disney+, Shazam, which is the app that basically you can use to figure out what song is playing. So you just tap to Shazam and then it'll listen in and it'll tell you what the music or what the song is that's playing. Goodreads, of course. Follow me on my Goodreads if you want to know what book I am currently reading. I'm obsessed with Goodreads. You can just go to my books. You can set what you're currently reading, which I'm currently reading It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. Want to Read, which is out of this world. Read, um, you can put categories into it. So I have all these categories, these shelves. Your Reading Challenge, which I have for 20, I have set to 24 books and I have currently read six out of 24 books this year so far. And then I have Live Score, which I usually only use when it is the Euro Cup or the World Cup to see how my team Germany is doing. I'm not German, but I do root for Germany. And so, and then, oh, also at the bottom here, I have Safari, FaceTime, Spotify, of course, if you wanted to, oh, I've been logged out, why? And then I have my mail app, which those 18 emails are literally just they're just um, like stores and stuff. And then here on the other page, I have three other widgets. I have this quote, which I love. It's be happy with what you have while working towards what you want, because that's something that I just always have to remind myself of, because I'm always looking to improve and I'm always looking to the future. And when I get something, I'm like, okay, well on to the next. Okay, I can keep doing better. But sometimes it's just, you know, it's important to look at what you do have, what you have achieved and be grateful for it so that you can continue to manifest because if you don't practice gratitude, how are you gonna manifest better things? So yeah, and then I have this photo of a bunch of scripts because again, acting, and then I have this little photo at the bottom here of a high rise apartment with a beautiful view because I would love to live in one of those sometime soon. And then here at the top, I have YouTube Studio. This is literally just the um, app to see how your videos are doing, your analytics, um, just all of that stuff. And then I have this useful folder. So I have my RBC Bank app. I have Buddy, which I'm obsessed with Buddy. It's this budgeting app. I'm not gonna open it just because it is obviously full of like my budgeting stuff, but you can basically add your finances, you can add your expenses every day, and then it'll also deduct it from the budget. So if I added, for example, $5 coffee, then it'll deduct it from a $50 budget for food, for example, for that two weeks or bi-weekly period or weekly period, whatever you set it to. Maps, Google Maps, Google Calendar, which I just use to set my shifts uh, for work. I have PC Optimum, which I use to get points at Shoppers Drug Mart, but I haven't used it in a while because I just have the keychain. I have any list, which is cool. It's a grocery list that I've shared with my mom and my brother. And as soon as I add a list, the as soon as I add an item to the list, everybody will see that that item was added to the list. So if one of us goes shopping that day, then we'll just be able to look at the app and see what the other people in our household have add it to the list and we can just grab it for them as well. Uber, Uber Eats, Skip the Dishes, Power Apps is just this like COVID thing that we have to use before work just to say that we don't feel sick. UKG Pro is also for work, it's just where our paychecks come in. My Rogers so that I can check to see where we're at with our data usage. Green Pea Parking for Toronto driving. Ugh. Presto, which I don't use really much anymore. Scene, which I haven't used in a million years, but every time I go to the movies, I forget to use it, so I just haven't deleted it because I'm like, I know I will go to the movies eventually. And then this first aid app that I haven't used in a while, but I've downloaded it when I did my first aid training. And then I have the photography folder. So I have Facetune, I have Visco. Unum is cool because it lets you basically plan out your Instagram feed. So these are all, these photos up here are all um, not actually on my Instagram just yet, but I can kind of like put them in here and see what they would look like and kind of plan it out to make sure that it all goes smoothly. Photo collage, just in case I wanted to make a collage. InShot's cool, it's what I use to basically create videos on uh, TikTok. So if I just like got some of these random um, videos here so basically you can like edit them you can chop them up you can filter them and then you can also add music and you can also extract audio from a video to add music so if I extracted audio from this from this TikTok so basically that is what that looks like and then you can just save it and then post it to TikTok and then I have Huji which is also cool it's kind of like a oh I haven't allowed it to access the camera. It's kind of like using a disposable camera in a sense. That's kind of what it looks like. So yeah, so this is basically what it looks like. So I just took a photo of that. 
and then you go to the lab and that's what it looks like so that's like my desk right now with my video that i just posted my queries get ready for me if you wanted to watch but yeah it kind of makes them all look really really cool and like vintagey so that's awesome and then i have instax mini link which is just the instax printer that i have i just connected to this app using bluetooth and then it allowed me to basically print any photo that i want but in the form of a polaroid then i have my astrology app nebula is the astrology app i use i love using nebula to check my horoscope every day so you can check today so so my focus of the day is being sincere, the stars advise me to be bold, if I have something to say, now's the time to say it, you'll be surprised at how great it can feel to express your honest opinion. So basically you can set your um, birth time so that it's even more accurate than just, you know, checking your horoscope for, for example, Libra, you can check your horoscope for, you know, your specific whole chart your astrology chart so that's your rising your moon your sun etc you can check for the week you can check for the month and um, you can also look at like compatibility you can look at more details about your chart so basically this is like my whole chart the planets their degrees the houses that they're in and then some descriptors for all of them to make sure that you know what everything means and then you can learn more about astrology so i love that app costar I don't really use CoStar that much, but it's another astrology app that you can kind of check your chart in, and it also gives you a little bit of information about your chart. The pattern app is really cool. Shane Tatum actually uses this, and I've never looked back after that, hearing that. Um, it's cool, you can set again your like birth time, and then it kind of shows you your pattern for your specific astrology chart, and it is so accurate. It shows you your timing, so these are my patterns right now, which are radical change, major life changes. It shows you your pattern, so it shows you your instincts, growth, relationship experiences, ideal partner traits, destiny, at work and in the world, and you can kind of read about yourself, and all of it, for me at least, was very, very accurate, and it gives you an update, like a reminder every day, so my pattern reminder today is trusting myself and also tells you what the moon phases are so right now we're in creative power and that kind of a thing so yeah very very cool and then i have this full moon app which basically i just use to check to see where the moon's at right now so the moon is in gemini and the full moon is in 10 days it's a waxing crescent so yes, and then I have education, which are just Google Docs, Google Drive, and Google Translate. I have health, which I have sleepy time. Sleepy time is cool because if I say I'm going to bed right now, it'll basically tell me what time to approximately wake up, um, where basically it kind of uses research and the average of, you know, most people's sleep cycles to kind of tell you when to wake up or when to set your alarm so that you don't wake up in the middle of REM sleep and you're waking up at the easiest point of your cycle to wake up in. I have Eve, which is just my period tracker. I have this yoga studio app and this Calm app, but I don't really use them anymore because I used them when I first started use when I first started learning how to meditate and how to do yoga, but now I'm kind of using YouTube for yoga and my meditation is just kind of to hertz music. I don't really use the guided meditation as much. Health app and then the fitness app. And then shopping, I just have Indigo, Amazon, Starbucks, Tim Hortons, Urban Outfitters, Sephora, and Etsy. And then I have a couple games that pretty much none of them are downloaded except Zen Match, but I have the Heads Up, Evil Apples, and Ball Sort games, which again, I don't really use. And then here I just have three other widgets, just this beach widget because I just want to manifest a great summer and I can't wait to go on girls trips and I can't wait for the warmer weather. Another high rise apartment, um, but this one is outlooking the water which I would love and then the girl at the beach with a wine glass trying to touch the moon is just a mood for me so that is pretty much everything that is on my iPhone I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the difference in the camera quality between the iPhone 11 and the iPhone 13 and also just looking at how like beautiful this phone is I'm just gonna give you another look because this is like absolutely lovely I'm so happy I picked the pink color it's so pretty and classy and cute and I'm just obsessed with it and yeah so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss another video from me and turn on your post notifications to make sure you're notified when i do post and i hope you guys have a great day love you to the moon and back and i'll see you in my next one bye